Welcome back. I haven't spoken to my mother-in-law for 18 months. I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, Mothers-in-law are often the butt of bad jokes. They are, but are they as bad as we make out? Well, here is psychologist Sarah Chatwin to, I don't know, dispel the myth or You're prove it to really be true. You're a cheeky one, aren't I you? I am, yeah. Well, my mother-in-law wants to dance on my grave. <laughs> oh, so is being, that all? I'm being buried at sea. Oh, of course. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice little twist in the tail. Look, they're not as scary as people make them out to be. And uh, contrary to what Rod's putting forward, you know, we've got to remember that they brought up these people who we love and who we get engaged and married to. So certain degree of respect goes it, out to these it's girls. It's each to their own, isn't it? Because, I mean, I, for example, I have an, an amazing mother-in-law. There's a lot of people on Facebook this morning um, responding to our GM chat that have fabulous mothers-in-law exactly. as well. So it's each to their own, but the, not all of them are... That flash. That's right. But I will preface this uh, segment by saying there's probably equal amounts of bad father-in-laws, sister-in-laws. It may be the in-law concept that we want to have a look at. However, today we'll look at mother-in-laws because there's such a lot of mythology around it. Yeah, there is. So, okay, so if you've got a good one, well, you're lucky. If not, we shall investigate a little further as yes. to how to deal with one that's not so good. Yeah. I if that is the case in your house? Uh, certainly not in my house, as I don't have one, which is great. Uh, but, <laughs> look, they're not all bad. I think what the problem is is that, you know, there's that primordial bond between the mother and the child you know she she gives birth to the child she sees them through those developmental milestones we cannot you know neglect the fact that these women are with these kids and it's very hard to let go mm, indeed. is that the problem is that the crux of the problem empty nest syndrome makes you feel older oh yes, there goes the kids I think there is something in that not letting go thing and it's hard to watch you know people go from your family of origin your mum your dad your siblings and form their own families it, mm. you know it's confronting and the emptiness syndrome is very real and people are forced in that situation when all their kids leave to redefine relationships look at their marriage perhaps things aren't quite as rosy as they used to be 30 you know 20 30 40 years ago with their partner so it's a time of great change and when people have made their children their focus, it can be a really lonely time. Yeah. What sorts of things, as, as daughters-in-law, what sorts of things, or sons-in-law, I suppose, yeah. mother-in-law, what sorts of things are they, uh, what are the issues? That they're finding with these. Women. I think the overarching issue that I see through the clinic is one of over involvement on the part of mother in law. There's that um, umbrella concept of getting too involved with perhaps child rearing practices, even cooking, A and perhaps, you know, playing that I know more than you do card. Because let's face it, if a person gets married at 35, having dated somebody for a couple of years, I mean, their mother has known them for a lot longer than their partner. So there's always that, that power, and sometimes it becomes a power play and it can get awkward what do you do then because you you're forced to choose so if it was me i'd be forced to choose between siding with my mum <laughs> yes. or siding with my partner and that is mm. a minefield that no one wants to walk through game breaker can be a game breaker so you've got to watch out for that now i will say at this point uh when you're dating somebody you have the opportunity to try before you buy so mm. if you feel that these dynamics are something that you do not want to become involved in don't get involved in them but that's a very extreme response i mean there might be part of you that thinks well i can work with this and you know i want to do things to put things in place so that I can actually be involved in this situation and give my mother-in-law the respect she deserves for producing this beautiful person that I love, uh, but also have my own family and my own time with my partner. But if you're faced with a, a really bad situation, you need to talk with your partner. The pathways of communication need to be opened. That can be tricky, though. Yeah, it's it's mother. Tricky. Yeah, but you know, you guys are in a relationship, mm. so you should be able to communicate. And if you can't, hey... Holler for a psychologist. I mean, here we are. Um, we're objective. We, you know, we're outside the square. We're looking from the outside in. And obviously, it, you know, uh, oftentimes it's much easier to be on the outside looking in and to have that clarity and that perspective. I think that's the difficulty, though, isn't it, really? Can you imagine if you went to your mother-in-law and said, look, we're just going to take a trip to the psychologist because it's not really working out? <laughs> Psychologist Sarah is so user-friendly, though, right. for goodness sake. No, I think if it gets to a really bad point, that's exactly what you should be saying, because it actually puts, it raises the flag and says, look, there's something here that's going on that we need to address, and you should not be scared of it. And this is your life. You have to live with these people in your circle. And also, you need to deal with these people with, with um, empathy and with respect and with a 
a little kindness. I mean, you are taking one of their prized children away and, and mm. you are with that person from now on. And it pushes them into a, you know, a situation where there's a lot of change, a lot of confronting things for them. But, you know, Johnny can't live with his mum forever. This is what's meant to happen. Yeah. <laughs> He's meant to go off and find a right lovely lady and get married. Right of passage. Yes, oh. but it's hard. I know. It is so hard. it's finding some common ground and, and trying to iron it out. And also being able to delineate, you know, what your relationship is and perhaps to include the mother-in-law, you know, on occasions and, and when it's appropriate and when you all feel that, that, you know, that works for you. And grit your teeth and bear it sometimes. Rod, <laughs> for you. I will. I will. <laughs> Good stuff. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. All right. Well, prize fans, get ready. There is a good one.